Uh, hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I did a lot of the uh, shots that I did for the Battlefield 1942 and Battlefield Vietnam mod reviews. Uh, a lot of them were, you know, edited of course in post, but there was a lot of console commands and little camera movements that I did do in order to make some of the shots possible. So, right now you can see I, I pulled up the console right there. I'm in Altenfestung, I think that's how it's pronounced, on forgotten hope secret weapon so right here you see i'm in the first person perspective and you can see if, if you want to make like a movie or something in this game it, it would not really be that effective with all these other hud elements and bullet counters and health and crap lying around the screen so what you're going to want to do first is open up the console with the uh, tilde key in the top left the little squiggly line and type hud zero the it being a and true and false value, zero being false. Now you can do a little first person action. Although I do have to mention, it, this was really hard to like get some of the uh, battle scenes going on because you it, it's like dead impossible to aim <laughs> while you're in this because usually there's a crosshair in the middle of the screen, which is just not a thing when the HUD is off. So do try to, uh, I guess, guess where the hell you're aiming. And maybe get a few shots off if you're lucky. I, I do recommend using more uh, full auto in that sense because you don't really need to aim as much. And if you want to turn it back on, you just go HUD 1 and kabam, your HUD is back. So HUD 0. And you can use the arrow keys after typing those two commands to constantly switch between the two, which I did constantly while filming the videos. Okay, so that's how you do first person. But what if you want to do like something like, I don't know, an overhead shot of a battle between some of the bots or just like a pan out to show this wide array of forest that you see beyond me. Well, what you're gonna wanna do is, uh, and you're going to want to do another console command, which of course, this also does work in Battlefield Vietnam. I'm doing this in 1942, but it's it's the same, almost unmodified engine. It, it will work in there as well. So free cam one is what you're gonna wanna do. Now, if you close this, Bam, you can do free cam, and if you do the command we did before, HUD zero, bam, now you can move around. So I'm using the W, A, S, and D. So that's W to go forward, S to go back, A to go left, and there's no sort of commands to go directly up and down with the camera, but another two keys that I use when filming shots for this are shift and control. Now what shift does is, you can only see while I'm moving the camera, if I press shift, I'm going to go a lot slower. Kind of for a slower pan of the surrounding area. And if I use it with D to go right, you can kind of see that. You can kind of combine W and D as I'm doing right here to move around. And also control, which I don't use because it's it's very hard to focus on a subject while you're doing it. But if you press control, you'll go like speeding fast, like... I, I could not find much use, except if I needed, like, to really go down a set of buildings as I did on one of the Berlin maps in the Forgotten Hope Secret Weapon review. But, yeah, I don't use it a lot. Mainly use Shift, because I, I, Shift lets you focus on a target better, like if I was going to do this uh, turret right here. One final trick that I nearly forgot about is uh, with the chase cam, which comes very much in handy with tanks and other vehicles. Forgotten Hope Seeker Weapon, the mod I'm using right now, removes it for infantry for some reason. You can't use the chase cam with infantry, but uh, there's other mods that do have it. I forget which. But anyway, what you're going to want to do is, right now I'm in first person with the tank. Press C, as in Charles, as many times as you need be, to get first to the back perspective, or the, the back POV, then the front. And then if you press C one more time, you're going to enter the chase cam. Now, the reason I did want to highlight this is because you can take a lot of shots, different shots, especially with this camera angle. Not so much with the planes as back there, since you're going to mainly be flying in a straight line. And as the nature of the chase camera works, it's just going to follow you first in front and then back since you can't stop the plane. But with land vehicles and boats, you can do lots of different shots depending on where you actually stop. So if I want to do a little POV shot, I can simply do that. If I want to do a distant shot, maybe firing right at the camera, line it up a little bit right there. 
Perfect. And if I want to do a uh, side profile shot, maybe a little closer, get a much better view of the texture. And a back shot, especially if I want to get a little more of a distant back shot than the POV one offers me from earlier. Although, like I mentioned with guns before, aiming is going to be a lot harder. So do be aware of that. If you want to get like a specific shot of you blowing up a tank, for instance, I, I can't even hit that. I don't think I can hit I, I was close. Oh, that one was close. If I can just hit it right there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's harder, but of course possible. And yeah, have fun making your own 1942 Vietnam videos.